And let me say first that today is certainly one of the, those days when I am extra proud to be a Nigerian. Here, here we are witnesses to a monumental achievement, the launch of the Virginia Tech Nigerian Bowen Equatorial Aeronomy Radar, VT Niger Beer. And it is, we are told, the 36th Super Dan for short in the world. The Super Dan, as we have heard already, is a network of high frequency radars that look into the Earth's upper atmosphere. The radars, we are told, operate round the clock and they observe the motions of charged part particles or plasma in the ionosphere and other effects that provide scientists with information on the Earth's space environment. Their work provides insights into space weather hazards. So all long distance high frequency signals, such as in our ocean going vessels, aircrafts, global broadcast communications, shortwave radio communications, may be affected by the irregularities in the ionosphere. These irregularities degrade high frequency and GPS signals. So the SuperDAN is supposed to discover these irregularities so that remedial action may then be taken. The first SuperDAN, monitoring conditions of the near Earth space in the high latitude regions, achieved its official status in 1995. In 2005 or 2006, we are told that the mid-latitude SuperDAN began operating at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Flight Facility, that's NASA, somewhere in Virginia in the USA. The second was deployed in Hokkaido, Japan in 2006. Today, there are 21 mid-latitude superdown radars across the world, providing immense technology advantages at the mid-latitude regions. But irregularities in the ionosphere are also found in the lower latitudes, the equatorial lower latitudes, or equatorial low latitudes. And because there was no super down, the causes of degrading high frequency and GPS signals have remained a mystery. Now our own super down radar, the VT Niger Bear, will resolve all that mystery. The VT Niger Bear is the first, and we told this repeatedly today, and currently the only deployment of an equatorial low latitude superdan anywhere in the world. This is a major leap forward in finding solutions to degradations of high frequency and GPS signals, and it will directly impact so many aspects of life and commerce. The extensive experience of the SuperDAN creates opportunities for Nigeria to leverage existing expertise, information, and data as we join a global network with experience that is spanning several decades. We've already heard from Professor Wayne Jones about this, uh, all the collaboration that is possible and the extent of uh, the impact that these collaborations will have. The importance for, of this project for Nigeria is very clear. It can radically transform communications, communications infrastructure, space research, equipment design, geomapping, forecasting and prediction of atmospheric, climatic, and oceanic conditions within Nigeria and the near low latitudes. It could be useful for even offshore oil exploration activities. It could support the activities of our Navy by measuring ocean wave length, ocean wave heights, beg your pardon surface currents and surface wind directions over vast remote areas on, our, on all of our waterways. And it can also significantly change the quality of our communications, telecommunications devices, all our GPS systems, satellite communication, military communication, aerial surveillance, etc. And in particular, the data obtained from the VT Niger Bear will be useful in the design of resilient equipment for Nigeria's communication industry and for the work of government agencies such as the National Space Research and Development Agency and the Nigerian Communications Commission, the NCC. 
The data will also be useful for forecasting and prediction purposes for equipment manufacturers. Because Nigeria's growth in technology will also leave us vulnerable to space weather events. So with the Canadian, for example, with the Canadian uh, SuperDAT, Canada utilizes the data that's obtained from it, from it to plan ahead for challenges such as pipeline corrosion, damage to electrical power grids, degradation of satellite navigation accuracy, loss of radio communications, and damage to telecommunication satellites that facilitate the billions of dollars of business every day. So the SuperDAN is also an important part of the Canadian Space Agency's Geospace Observatory, working with some institutions of higher learning and public-private sector partners. The SuperDAN team makes significant contributions to space science research to understand the complex parts of the space weather system. So as Nigeria joins the SuperDAN, we must also take advantage of the data that's collected by SuperDAN worldwide utilizing the data obtained and in collaboration with the network to contribute to understanding of space weather, all its benefits and disadvantages, and its impact on operations such as radio and satellite communications, oil pipelines, and even power grids. But perhaps more importantly, the success of this project will serve as a template for other high-level research and scientific collaborations between Nigeria and international partner institutions by connecting results to industry and converting data to useful information for commercial and social good projects. So we're extremely proud of Bowen University and the team that has worked on this project, placing, placing Nigeria on the Super Dan global map and in the network of nations that play host to the International Scientific Radar Network. I must commend especially the Vice Chancellor, Professor Joshua Ogunwole, for his leadership on this project. The principal investigator, Dr. O.S. Bolaji of Unilag, uh, my own alma mater, so we get a good mention here. And the support of uh, Professor A.B. Rabiu of the Center for Atmospheric Research, which is a unit of the uh, National Space Research and Development Agency. And of course, our partners from Virginia Tech and their very experienced team, uh, Professor Wayne Scales and Professor Mrs. Glenda Scales. Thank you all very much uh, for the great support that you've given us. And of course, congratulations to this great citadel of learning and research, the Bowen University, for this amazing achievement and for making us all so very proud. Congratulations, everyone. In a few moments, it will be my special pleasure and privilege to officially commission the Virginia Tech Nigerian Bowen Equatorial Aeronomy Radar, VT Niger Beer, for the benefit of Nigeria, the world, and to the glory of God. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you very much.